Hi guys, we're back and I'm with After the Ibis. How was that set? It was so good, the crowd was buzzing. It's great crack, yeah. I was not sure how it was going to go with the weather starting up again with the rain, but no, it's great crack. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and you are the only girl with a huge group of lads. What's that like being on your own with all the boys? Uh, it's great because I get my own way all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so are you the spoiled one in the group? You get away with everything. So what's it like? You have a really, really big band. You must have some absolute crack together. What's that like? Uh, it's brilliant. Like we're, we're together now, what, eight, nine years? About eight years. Yeah. yeah, so like we started off myself and two other lads and uh, we just joined one by one and probably the last five, six years we've all been in the band. So uh, yeah, it's great crack. Like we love it. We play it all the time. Now you have a really unique style. It's kind of like bluesy, reggae. How did that come about? Well, uh, obviously we're influenced by a lot of the reggae legends and that kind of thing. Um, and then we also love some nice modern bands which have a lot of jazz, like Groundation. They're a reggae band from California. California, yeah. They like to play jazz and soul. We kind yeah, of one of the things about uh, some of the bands that we love is the brass section, and it just adds a whole new dynamic to the music, and it gives us kind of more creative opportunities to write new songs and write originals. I think because we all we all listen to totally different styles of music as well, so that like because because we all collaborate and writing that a bit of that comes in. You know what I mean? Music, right? So you just all write the songs together, all eight. Is it seven or eight? Is uh, it's normally eight. There was only yeah, seven today. Where a man down, Ray is in Dingle with his other band. He left us. We're not happy, Ray. We're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ray for not being here. Sorry yeah. for breaking in the camera, but you're out with a band. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we love writing together. Sometimes it can take a bit longer, but uh, we are kind of perfectionists a bit. But uh, the end result, I think, tells we do be happy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And how many songs have you written so far? Like, would you say you've written loads or? Uh, we're, 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 we're a bit slow. <laughs> <laughs> we write really loads, slow. but we discard a lot. <laughs> yeah. So we, we probably have like 10, 11 songs yeah. that we play, but we probably wrote 50 songs, like, yeah. you know, and we've yeah. loads of rhythms as well. We have our next album hopefully coming out in the next six months to a year. So uh, we're looking forward to starting again, writing again, like, you know. So you have an album coming out in six months. Do you have any other plans? Are you going to be playing any festivals this summer? Yeah, well, we, we, launched, we launched our debut album last July in the Grand Social in Dublin and that was a big deal for us because we've been gigging a lot for, you know, like Addy says, about eight years. So we decided, okay, we're going to actually create something and put something together and we launched that last July. So we've been kind of gigging that over the last year and just recently now we kind of started to write our, what's going to be our next album. We have, um, I think we have a single launch on July the 11th in the Workman's Club and then um, we're playing the Electric Picnic this year and I'm sure there'll be way more gigs to be announced, hopefully. Yeah. If Ray can make it, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the rest of the band decide to show up. So, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, no, that's, we'll just finish up there. Thanks so much for Cheers. coming in, guys, that was great. No problem. Sorry, thanks. You're welcome.